Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and in today we're continuing our journey in the county of Arthas where a merciless civil war is raging and it is upon us to instill peace into these rather unpeaceful lands. And for that let's continue to follow the band of uh, mercenaries here but equally we have found the center of um, the hunt and that is a ghost wolf pack so let's do the hunter quest first and then follow the uh, the pack so the way that these uh, things work is each, each of the ghost wolves uh, strikes a terror terrifying presence and terror is a nasty ability because terror once you have five stacks of terror applied to you, uh, the uh, respective unit is running off the battlefield. We, of course, can't let that happen. Which is why we need to be really careful in taking out all of uh, these wolves. A-S-A-P. G. Zoe works together with Ms. Grell. And I have to wonder, should we just sprint in and cut two wolves down or are we waiting? I think we're waiting. Um, let's do this here. Weakening blow to start with. Then we're getting our Valor back. And another hit. We're hitting back. And you can see one Terror on Miss Grell. The only way to get rid of Terror is to indeed kill uh, said enemies. Little bit of mud. This kill here should help their relationship, hopefully. And it, by the way, also works against uh, animals, so. Um tell you what, we can hit three. Can't fully kill this guy, but we could sprint over and then take them on. Might not be the worst idea. stand here I think that's good enough yep yeah unfortunately can't fully kill all three of them I think I've misused some of the abilities but he will take 40 points of health uh, damage. Uh, that kill, however, does not count towards uh, mm, JP. That's a bit unfortunate. Moving to here. I still crit. And I think we're ending the turn. And I'm okay with uh, winning the battle because 
typically there are reinforcements and I did not want them uh, to happen. Instead, we killed them so far, uh, so fast, that the hunt has not only begun, but it has immediately finished. Now, next step, we're uh, following that caravan. And I must say, we're definitely dealing more damage and the fights feel much faster. That was like five minutes instead of a long tactical drawn out journey. Management of Valor also appears easier overall. So I'm quite happy with the new skills. Still need to work on the low movement. But I think that will come over time. Short um, intersection here. Let's see what they, what's going on here. We do not have an ornate key, so we'll keep in mind that we need an ornate key here. Lots of just instant loot, but nothing in particular. That sticks out. Nope. It's just the ornate key. Who are these guys, by the way? Well, the only reason why I'm not attacking them is because I think we're onto something. Okay, apparently that was the wrong uh, way. We need to follow them alongside this trail. Good, time to camp here. That. And that. And that and that and that. Okay, we'll try that next day yet again. In the meantime, let's bake some more bread. Cooking is just uh, the very best skill to never care about uh, survival anymore. Ah, uh, can't do that. We need rope. And we could use some more torches soon. All right, what does Dilly want? Tinkerer. Yeah, Dilly is just doing the tinkering uh, because he's already become a master thief. And I figured a second um, 
a second profession wouldn't be the worst idea plus we need a tinker in order to create two raw materials every single time okay just double checking there is actually no ore in this uh, mine crazy good attempt number two of following the caravans this time into the other direction which is that way i think we don't really need to follow them it will be quite obvious where they are coming from Maybe not. Let's see where they are going. Okay, trying to go all the way over here. No way. You can get up there. Wow, that blew my mind. Okay, now I do understand why they say you need to follow them. And there is the concealed camp, which I think is the culprit that we were looking for, right? Who? Captain Hostess? Silly me, of course, Captain Hostess. Only you could hide amongst a group of mercenaries, you old weasel. But your little charade ends here. Your grubby companions are no match for a professional army. Prepare to die. All right. These guys are no pushover, so it's going to be a tough one. No reinforcements, but if a unit engages an enemy directly, they uh, execute an attack of opportunity. And every time a unit takes damage to their health, uh, they get to rage. and they get more damage from every bonus that is resting on them so i can already see how this very soon becomes uh, not a lot of fun Good, how do we go about this? We have enough to actually engage properly. Moves up. And it's very self-sufficient in how... Oh no, oh no, oh I forgot Enders. Oh that's bad. Oh shit. Okay, how do we deal? How do we go about this? Natural sprinter. Oh boy. Okay, the question is who's the fastest here? I need to get to him. 
And I think just by design, JP might be in the best position. Okay, that turned what was supposed to be an easy fight into a very, very difficult one. And it just moves away. Okay, well, hmm. Good, we're moving over here. Trying to free up some capacity and sprint over there. Dilly. Hits this guy. Pushes him further out. And then moves all the way over there. The one time that I could really, really, really use inspiration. We do not have it. Aim and to kill. And we're okay so far. It's not great, but it's not completely dire either. One side is going very much in our favor, the other very much not in our favor. net minus one but still okay new round is starting we really need to hurry up jp can't uh, stand a long extensive uh, fight first of all healing enders Three bloodshed is quite an achievement. This guy is dead after his next round. On the other hand, Roby has a problem. Yet on the other hand, we might be able to kill all of them. Yeah. 
not wanting to use my shout yet. Um, how about... How about we're doing uh, something like this? Uh, we were not in range for our, uh, for our knives. Okay, this was just a very careful approach. Could have gone in much harder. Good. We're hitting that Inquisitor and we're starting to move over. What she's surrounded. Let's just generate some more Valor. Yeah, those AOE shots aren't really helping. All right, got her nicely down. Uh, should have stayed there. Uh, she uh, she could have uh, produced another Veiler. Roby's taking a massive beating here. We don't want attacks of opportunity, we're just continuing to fight. <clears throat> but these guys need to die now. I need the Valor, even that one Valor is going to help. <clears throat> there we go. That was a rocky fight. And completely up to me to not pay attention. Ah, not good. We got some heavy armor here. Some that actually might be an upgrade. Let's just double check. So, it is one that uh, sacrifices just a tiny bit of guard for a pretty sizable critical hit bonus. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. We want as much armor and even better as much guard on them. Uh, guard reduces and essentially mul is a multiplier for your armor. So that's important. And that's, I think, the way to 
really make these tanks tanky. But equally, 5% critical hit isn't bad either. I actually appreciate that. Holy. How I love these mini games. And the locks are getting more and more difficult. It seems. Well, great. Crowns, but they would be stone crowns. The woman we fought, or they used to anyway. Now that we know who Vanalis' allies are, we can increase our presence at the border and keep a close eye on the churches and monasteries. As for the crowns the Inquisitors were kind enough to leave us, I will take them to Count Lahart. This seems fair compensation for all the suffering our armies have. Here is your share. No mercenary has ever proved more worthy of their stipend. I commend you on your bravery and your devotion. It was an honor to fight by your side, mercenaries. Alright, well, it also took away our option to level lock picking further hello strike deals 18 damage to all units in the area uh, hits several units create a fire under each of them i think that's actually a quite interesting weapon here we do have punishment Which I think is the stronger weapon overall. Although Knights of the Ice Sword isn't bad either. If we were to work with a full burning or fire type of uh, party. I could see that as well. I mean we, we made ourselves immune to fire because I just absolutely cannot be bothered to lose that many hit points every single round. And then it keeps on spreading so... It's the one most annoying debuff um, in existence so far. So yeah, that worked out quite well. How many? Uh, how many torches do we have? Six. Uh, there is a temple nearby. Might be able to do that the next time. What do you guys say? Shall we give it a try? I think we shall. Good. And that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, uh, do not forget to hit that like button and uh, let me know how the new specs have performed. Also, oh boy, Enders, that was a close call. I need to take better care of not letting you start on the wrong side of uh, the map. Holy moly, that was very, very close. All right. Thanks and have a good one. Bye-bye.